you know, my father was an entrepreneur, uh, Ward Correll, and and uh, uh, we so he, en he encouraged us to do. Uh, you know, when we needed money, he didn't encourage us to go get a job. He encouraged us to figure out something to do to earn it. And so we had watermelons when we were kids and sold watermelons to all up and down the street and, and grew those. We had cattle. With his encouragement, we did uh, just lots of things, but uh, went to college and, and uh, uh, well, before I got, between my junior and senior in high school, sold Bibles door to door with Southwestern and then went again the next summer and uh, then we while I was at Asbury we tried to buy the uh, water company from the college the college owned the water company and so we tried to buy it uh, while we were in school and uh, and then and then we had all of our uh, uh, people that were getting married at Asbury and we were buying diamonds from Harry Winston in New York and selling them all of our friends that were getting engagement rings. So, uh, you know, from uh, whenever I thought about, when I thought, of, thought about needing money, uh, it, with my parents' encouragement, it was always some kind of entrepreneurial <laughs> idea, you know. I think there were three big things that happened in my life and, and uh, uh, the first one was we, uh, in 1986, uh, you, you remember Dale Ditto, we were talking about Dale. Dale came down and, and his partner, John, and they, uh, we went through a biblical study on, uh, on what the Bible says about money. And, um, uh, you know, we were very leveraged and I was leveraged in my time too, not just in money, but just over committed on everything and, and uh, so we went through that crown uh, uh, class It eventually became Compass. Uh, uh, that was probably the first thing. And, uh, and then um, uh, my little brother died. And he had always been, uh, he, he was my partner and we were partners in everything. And uh, at 38, he uh, got a brain tumor and uh, passed away. And, and it was, by that time, we'd kind of made a, uh, he had come to me and said, hey, you know, I, I'm, I'm wanting to be less business and more in, in ministry and, and telling people about the Lord. And, uh, and he said, why, why don't you kind of continue to do the business and I'll do the, the ministry? Um, and it may not have been that explicit, but it was kind of how it was unfolding. And uh, and then uh, um, and then he dies. And so who 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 takes responsibility for the for the for the rest of the plans that he had and that we had? And and then and then you know. Uh, the more successful you get, uh, I mean, before you're successful, you you uh, tell yourself that, hey, if I become successful, I'll be happy. And uh, and you, the further you get down that road, you realize that it's just uh, it doesn't bring happiness necessarily. And uh, you're uh, you may be a change of place or change circumstances, but unfortunately, you take you with you. And, uh, and so you, uh, uh, you just see that there's nothing that, uh, um, um, uh, there's just nothing that, that uh, really is, it's not worth that much. It's good, the success is wonderful, but if that's all you have, you'll have a pretty empty life. Uh, and you know, as, as we've gotten more successful, I had, a, I had a friend of mine, Todd Harper, that's with Generous Giving, and he said, you know, as, as you become successful, you want to spend your money in a way that puts you with people rather than separates you from people. And, and I, you know, and I, you see that so many times, you know, is it, is it mansions or missions? And, and you, is it to, to take care of your mission? And, and so, I, I, you know, I think that's uh, what we've, uh, spending more on yourself, uh, it won't make you happy. That new, our smell it, it fades pretty quick 
uh, you know, you only need so much clothes, and, and don't get me wrong, we've got a nice house, a nice farm, but, uh, uh, you know, it's the same house we've lived in for, since 1989, and, and, uh, and my wife and I, we've, we've decided no matter how much the Lord blesses us, we don't need a bigger house, you know. Uh, uh, and, and so the thing that you do that really, I, I would say it really just makes us happy. We, we enjoy uh, being uh, generous in our companies and, and generous personally. I remember uh, one of my great mentors, Mildred Oakley, told me uh, when I was a young businessman, he said, well, you know, Jesse, he said, I think you're pretty good. He said, the only thing you need to round out your education is a couple of million dollar losers. And I said, I don't want any million dollar losers, uh, Mildred. Uh, you know, uh, and he said, well, he said, you're going to have them. He said, if you take enough risk, you'll have some losses. And, and I mean, I, we did a startup one time and lost, uh, uh, I think we lost about nine million of the nine million we put in. That was not a very good day. And, uh, or it was a longer period than that for sure. But, uh, and then uh, we bought a bank, uh, 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 that uh, had a lawsuit in it that, that when we asked our lawyers said it's fairly innocuous, shouldn't be a problem. Uh, and uh, I think we paid a million dollars for the bank and got a judgment against us and we couldn't even testify. Uh, so I mean, I mean, you know, we were just defending uh, the former uh, owner's uh, position and I think they got a five million dollar judgment or something. And so, uh, but, but you know, I, I, that, that is the thing about the, an entrepreneur spirit. I, you know, you have some bad days, but uh, uh, you, just, you just hope that you have more good ones than you have bad ones, you know. Well, you know, I think selling Bibles door to door was really good for me. Uh, it, it really encouraged me uh, to uh, not worry about rejection. And, and you know, that, that's really, uh, I think, what pe keeps people from risking is, is uh, f it's, it's not only fear of loss, but fear of loss of your influence or what people think about you. And, and uh, you know, uh, sell books. I, I'd go in and I'd knock on about 30 doors a day and, uh, hey, you'd go in and you'd do the best. If you didn't get it done, you'd just move on to the next, next customer. And so I, I think that has been good uh, uh, for me. And then, and then I've seen as you, when you fail, uh, you can see that you can fail and still survive very well. And uh, it's just not staying down. And that's, that, that's what everybody says is you, you can fall down, but don't stay down. And uh, leadership means everything. And so, you know, we, we lend to folks that got there's great leaders. We invest in ministries that are that have great leaders. But just to just to see um, just to see people grow and accomplish things um, is it's probably as good as you get. And and then to work with people that you like, uh, you know, that's that's been a huge uh, thing for me. Is uh, my, my best friends are all the folks that, that I work with. And so, uh, is, if there is if there's a blessing in life that's any better than that, I don't know what it is. And and it uh, you, uh, I mean, you really truly never work a day in your life when it's uh, when it's doing something you enjoy with people that you like. Doug Ditto says that who you're with is more important than what you do, and uh, 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 that's how we've approached uh, business and. Uh, and mission, you know. The team is so important, and like I've said, I, I, I don't do anything. I mean, really the thing that I do well is relationships, and everything else that's actually specifics. I'm not a very good uh, uh, detail person, and uh, you know, I, I, I don't do any of that stuff. And, and so to have a great team of people that do and take care of people very effectively is, uh, is, uh, is it's phenomenal. It's the most important thing. As I would telling young people get started, do what you say you're gonna do. Every time. Even when it's hard. I mean, it will be hard. It's the hard thing, generally. And uh, be on time. 
uh, pay your bills, uh, just just be a person of integrity. And uh, and uh, uh, sometimes, you, you know, we I, I think it's just really good that we don't look what's effective, but we look what's right. And, and you know, today, so many times, if someone's you know, doesn't have much integrity, but it, but is uh, successful, it's okay. Well, you know, it's not. Do always do the right thing. When things are happening and crisis are happening or when things are really good or when you're in the middle of crisis, it, it is amazing how uh, we kind of get frozen. And, uh, and those are the times to really process the fundamentals that you've, uh, that, that you look at and then make a decision, hey, uh, I, you know, I, want, I want some more of that. I want a bigger opportunity. My, my two old partners were so good to teach me just to, you know, you're, you're gonna have successes, you're gonna have failure. If you have a failure, go on. And if you have a success, go on. You know, just don't get too obsessed over either one of those.